Hello and thank you for watching. This is a video to show you how you can play old DOS games on your PC using DOSBox. It's really simple and it's pretty quick. So first thing you need to do is you need to open a web browser and have Google open and then type in DOSBox and you'll see the website that's up here. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to downloads. You can download straight from there or if you're on a different platform you can download from different areas here. Um, it does say Win32 installer, but it will work on a 64-bit system, and um, this is 64-bit, so you'll see it does work. Um, and then obviously you'll need some DOS games. DOS games are 10 a penny. Um, there's free sites out there everywhere that will let you get old DOS games. So I do search DOS games and you'll find some. I have already done all the downloads I needed to do for this video. I've downloaded DOSBox here, as you see, Win32 installer. And I've downloaded a random one, Daggerfall, which I think is the Elder Scrolls. Um, I do believe it is. First thing you do is extract it, obviously, because it will be zipped. Uh, extract your Daggerfall there, and it'll just create the folder there. So, what we need to do then is I only want this, so I'm going to copy it and paste it rather than just drag it across because I may need to make this video again. This is about, I don't know, sixth attempt I've done this video now. I keep making mistakes and swearing a lot. Um, there will be a video upcoming actually with outtakes of some of the videos that I make. It's, it's ridiculous how many times um, I do this. It really is. Um, so actually we'll just install from here actually. So click on the installer. Next. Next install. There we go. It's a nice clean program. There's none of this added browser or added, added, browser, added toolbar or anything like that. It's uh, clean installed, so there we go. First thing you need to do is let's get that out of the way. First thing we need to do, we've got a game and we've got DOSBox. So what we need to do is we need to put the games into a directory. So open up the computer, Windows C, which is your main drive, and then we need to add a new folder. So we're going to call this All Games. Um, not there yet, All Games, and then we're going to add. The game that we want into all games. Um, I don't actually want this thing here because I think it's an expansion. I just want this one. So I'm going to copy it and then put it into all games. This might take a few, few sets because it's quite a big game actually for a DOS game. Um, but that's Elder Scrolls for you, I suppose. Dun, 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 dun. And if you're ready. Actually, can we get rid of that now? Yeah, we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right, so we've got the game sorted, so we can get rid of that as well now. So what we need to do is, um, well, actually, I'll just confirm. In Windows, uh, in Windows C, we've got um, what's it called? All games there, and it's got D F C D. Tag on fall. Okay, so what we're going to do is then start up DOSBox, and you get this window here. First thing we need to do is we need to mount the drive. We need to mount the C drive to tell it to look in the old games folder. So you type in mount, uh, then it's C, and then C colon backslash old games because we called the folder old games. If you choose to call it something else, just where it says old games here, put into whatever the folder, you know, whatever you named it, and click on that. So it says drive C is mounted as local directory C old games. So it knows that. When we use the C drive, it's going to look in the old games folder. So the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it to actually go to the C drive. So click C colon, click enter. So now it's in the C drive. So we know it's in there now. So the next thing you need to do is because we know that the game itself is in a is in a folder of its own. So without telling the computer that, how does it know to look in that folder? So we need to um, change the directory. Is it called again? DFCD, so change directory to DFCD, and it should say C, DFCD. So we know now that anything, any action you put into here, the computer will look in the DFCD folder, which is the folder that we place inside, which has got the game in it. So you look inside the game, and you find the application. The application is here, which is called install. Um, it might be called something different on some games, but generally it'll be called install, or something like that, uh, something generally like that. But just look for the application that you want install so we know that all we want to do is type in install that's telling the computer to look in the C drive 
we know that C drive is now old games, so it's looking in the old games folder. It's now looking in the DFCD folder, and we want it to look for install. So click on install, and there we go. The Elder Scrolls Dragonfall, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so yeah, it plays the, it install the game to your hard drive, blah blah. blah. And, and yeah, you get the idea. Um, and that was it, really. It's really simple, really quick to do. Um, there's so many good DOS games out there, especially RPGs and things like that. Um, it's worth having a play around and see if you can find some old DOS games that you like. And that's it, really. Um, I just wanted to show you how that was done. Um, as always, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate comments, um, whether it be negative or positive, um, as long as they're constructive. And thank you for watching. Okay, goodbye.